Hey, what's going on everyone? As promised, I would do a demonstration of Sanjay Mod 10.1, which is based off Android 4.2, on the Nexus 4. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prove to you guys I'm actually running it. So, I'll go to the system settings, about phone. Okay, here. Uh, obviously, I'm running a Nexus 4, Android 4.2, and Sanjay Mod 10. Now, I know it doesn't say 10.1, it actually says 10, but as you can see, it's Android 4.2. For some reason, the, the Sanjay Mod team decided to keep it as 10 and not 10.2 in the file name. First thing is stability. Okay, so this is a nightly, uh, which basically stands for experimental. And if you want to know how to install this ROM on the Nexus 4, I'll include a video link in the description below. Okay? So it's nightly, which is based on, it uh, basically means experimental. Then, you know, in the future, they'll release something called Release Candidate, which is fairly good to use and then they'll release obviously a stable version. So even though I'm running an experimental nightly version, this thing is extremely smooth. Like, it, honestly folks, it's good for day-to-day -day use, and you can see it's very snappy. Uh, it's just as fast as the stock Android ROM that came with the device. Um, very, very stable, camera works fine. Uh, all the options, uh, front-facing camera, etc. I noticed that the original Sanjay Mod 10 lock screen is gone. They, I guess they just decided to stick with the uh, stock Android 4.2 lock screen, which I'm not too big a fan of. I wish they had the Sanjay Mod 10 lock screen back, but uh, who knows, maybe after in a re future update they'll fix that, but whatever. Um, in terms of the UI, you have your very basic, you know, Android jelly bean, nothing too fancy. Um, the quick reply button, so when you get like a text, Gmail, email, or phone call, whatever, Usually, but this is even before Android 4.2 released, Cyanogen Mod 10, which is based off Android 4.1, always had this like quick reply button or quick call back button. Like you could quickly reply back or call back. Now I noticed that it, a lot of the apps, it doesn't, it's not compatible with it. So basically I can't, if someone sends me a text, I don't have the quick reply button anymore. It's gone. Um, it's very similar to Android 4.2 rather than, say, San Engine Mod 10. I really miss that option. It's It looks a lot more like stock Android rather than, say, San Engine Mod. But again, this is experimental, so hopefully they will, you know, include the original San Engine Mod settings back because I, I thought they were great. Okay, so a big chunk of the apps is in system settings. I'll go over this notification bar, but basically you can have a customized notification bar here. You can turn uh, Wi-Fi off, data, Bluetooth, etc. And then if you tap here, you obviously have your quick settings menu. So you have the Cyanogen Mod menu, and you can access the quick settings menu. A neat thing about the Cyanogen Mod notification power widgets is that it actually functions better than the quick settings menu. Uh, so say I have Wi-Fi up here, if I long press it, I can access Wi-Fi. Uh, if I say long press Bluetooth, I'll access the Bluetooth menu. The chunk of Sign Engine Mod is obviously, you know, it can customize a launcher. I'm not going to get into too many details because the options in there are pretty boring. Uh, you know, it can turn auto rotate on and off, um, just stuff like that. Themes, you can flash hundreds if not thousands of themes. So basically, if you want to make it look like, say, an HTC device with HTC Sense, if you can find an HTC theme, you can, uh, you know, flash it from here. Uh, these, okay, so this is the me main menu for <clears throat> Sanjay Mod. You know, you can customize the status bar. So, for example, you can have a battery percentage up here at the top in the notification drawer, uh, the AM, PM style. You know, you can basically pause the video at any point and just kind of read the menu for yourself because going into er everything will make this video way too long and, well, boring. Uh, you can display your notification count, you know, missed uh, texts, emails, etc. So the notification drawer, as I mentioned, you can customize this. So basically, you go to notification drawer, widget buttons. From here, you can select which buttons you want to select. So say if, if I select the ringtone adjustment, you can actually tap here and select which ringtone adjustments do you want. Silent, vibrate, uh, sound only, vibrate and sound, etc. Um, you can actually change the order of those widgets. You know, very simple. Just drag around. Okay, so it is possible to adjust the power menu, so let me show you that. So this is what I currently have on by default. Uh, so this customizes this menu. When you press and hold the power button, you can actually customize everything that appears here through this menu. Okay, so that is a neat feature. You can actually reboot the device, uh, you know, into recovery or just not normal reboot, etc. Stuff like that. Now in terms of waking up the device easily, uh, if you go to display, and at the bottom, you choose Volume Rocker Wake. If you basically press, let me just show you. So the power button's on this side, right? If I just simply press the volume button, it wakes up the device. So you don't have to keep pressing the power button. Uh, I have kind of have a phobia of the power button breaking ever since the Nexus 1 and their 
terrible power button design. Um, there are notification LED lights. You know, that's that comes with stock Android anyway, but you can actually customize it. And I noticed that, it, again, it runs like stock Android and not Sanage and Mod. Um, currently, it, it, I, I don't get notification LED lights for text messages. I don't get notification LED lights for emails. So what I recommend you do and try is use custom values and you hit this plus icon and you can add an app. So say I want to see receive notification LED lights from say Gmail, I would just tap Gmail and then you know it can change the color etc. Of course uh, Google now functions just as it should. Google. How old is Homer Simpson? Well I guess it doesn't know the exact answer but the card works. Let's try something, let's try to get a card result. How tall is Michael Jordan? Jordan is 1.98 meters tall. Okay, so works fine. Of course, you have you know the profile settings. Now this is this was available since Sanage Mod 10, which again was a uh, based on Android 4.2. I mean 4.1, sorry. Uh, so even before Android 4.2 had it, Sanage Mod had this. So I'm not gonna get into that too much. Um, to access developer options, you should already know. Go to about phone and keep tapping the build number. Because the last thing I want to show you guys is. Uh, updating Sanage Mod through the device itself. So you go to About Phone in the System Settings, then type Sanage Mod Updates, and if you type Update Type, and you choose it to say, we'll set it to everything. Um, so as you can see right now, it's the year 2012, November 29th update is what I currently have installed. Okay, but as after using the update function by pressing this ref oops by pressing this refresh button. It'll look for new updates, and now there's a new one available today, the year 2012, uh, November 30th. So you can actually update your Sanage Mod directly from the device now. There's no need to actually, you know, go to the Sanage Mod website, reflash it with a USB cable, etc. However, I noticed that after trying this option, Clockwork Mod Recovery had trouble finding this um, update, and it didn't do too well. I had to actually do a manual installation through Clockwork Mod Recovery instead. So I'm not sure if that's an issue with uh, the nightlies because, as I said, this is an experimental, or if it if it's just a problem with Android 4.2 in general. But overall, the ROM is extremely stable. Um, there's honestly, I, I've noticed that, as I mentioned, a few of the Sanage Mod, you know, settings have disappeared, like the customizable lock screen and stuff, and they're they're going more towards stock Android, which isn't really a bad thing. But I do prefer Sanage Mod settings because they're a lot better. This might change, however, as I said, uh, this is like only the second date since Sanage Mod 10.1 is released, so they could change that, but uh, for now, it, otherwise, it's extremely stable, fast, uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, everything works fine, um, data plan works fine, and of course, camera front and back work okay. Battery life is pretty decent, it's exactly the same as stock Android, so whatever battery life you're getting on stock Android, you should expect the same with 10.1. So uh, that's my video and demo of Sanage Mod 10.1, which is again based off Android 4.2. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention: uh, December is present in here. Okay, Sanage Mod team included December in the People's app, <laughs> unlike Google's flop. Uh, so that is included. So if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button; it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.